Sturkin. Lightning start their top line. Points. Kucherov and Nick Paul. The Rangers counter with their fourth line. Jimmy BC, Tyler Pitlick, and former Lightning forward. As that one bounced right back to Kucherov. And up ahead now is Nick Perbix. Perbix centering pass. Redirected by the Rangers. And a lead pass up the ice. Stepping in is a 2 on 0 across. They score. Artemi Panarin. An odd man rush, and the Rangers did not miss. Less than two minutes in, it's 1-0. Running the show for the New York Rangers. Tough lock there for Victor Hedman. He just blows the tire at exactly the wrong time. The cross ice pass and the timing is perfect. Trocek is having an outstanding season, and when you're having a big season, some luck follows you. That was pure luck. Takes advantage of Hedman, makes the pass at exactly the right time. Panarin is ready. Here's Martin, the back check. Lafreniere trying to tuck it in. Pad down was Vasilevsky. Rangers with some pressure here into the corner. Swept around by Trocek. Trouble with a drive. Save, rebound, they score. Vincent Trocek tucks it all. And it is 2-0. Get the puck inside the zone, use your point, man, and then go to the net really hard. Look at the Lightning, blue shirts, lots of guys back. How are you going to play when the puck comes from the point? Are you going to pick guys up ahead of time? It's a 2-1-1 in front of the net. Victor Hedman got stranded out on that left side there and never got back to the front of the net in time. He lost his man there, and it was Trocek. He was with Trocek for a second. Perbix is in front of the net. He's got a man tied up, and he can only take one. And it's the extra guy, the 2-1-1, that wins it there. Mott centers it. That one's into the skate, but picked up by Asimov. Asimov, cut back move, then another one. He throws it back up top. Here's DeHaan, his drive. Stopped by Shosturkin, rebound. Picked up by Asimov, wraparound. He scores! Mikey! Gets the lightning on the board, and it's 2-1. The referee had his hand up in the air, was going to call a penalty. I'm not sure on who, but I think it was on the Rangers. But what they're saying is, I think, that there was interference on their goaltender. But nonetheless, good stuff from Mikey Asimov and from that line. Asimov's really good around the net. He's got quick feet. We've seen him do these wraparounds before. That one was in cleanly. They'll be looking at this, though. There's the collision in the crease area. But that's not what pushed Shosturkin out of the net, in my view at least. He ended up four or five feet outside the paint and had to recover so far to the far side. There's another look at it. See, look, look at Shosturkin. Shosturkin goes there of his own accord. That shouldn't be a problem for me. There, I'm not surprised because there is contact. New York is challenging the previous play to determine if there was goaltender interference prior to the goal. Yeah, that's what we've already seen. There is a collision. That should be fine. This should this goal should stand. Brandon Blendina and Peter McDougall are the referees here tonight. They are on the headset with the Situation Room in Toronto. Looking at this one, and I got to agree with you that Shesterga did push away from the goal yeah. at the conclusion of that play. That, that part made no sense to me. Now, of course, the goal was scored, so he's going to complain. And yes, he was bumped into. That's very easy to see. But did it have a bearing on the goal? To me, more of a bearing was the fact that he pushed out. Here we go. After Coach's Challenge video review, it was determined there was goaltender interference, and we have more goals. I don't believe that. There is still time. Keep pushing that way. Fewer passes in the offensive zone. And as the second period begins, John Cooper's going to start the line of Glenn Denning, Acemont, and Janot. Up the ice comes DeHaan. In the line, leads for Acemont. His drive and a glove save made by Shesterkin. Acemont with a quick shot. He's had a couple of great chances tonight. And now it's a breakaway pass. Barclay, good throw in. Stopped by Vasilevsky. He clears the rebound. Inside their own zone. Look at all the room up the middle of the ice. And the first guy coming out of the zone is Barclay Goodrow. He makes just one easy move. And there's... Back up the ice, Hayden Flory calling for it is Hagel. On the right side, stops, hangs on, in for Sorelli. Back to Chernak, in, shoots, saved by Shosturkin. Plays on the rush. We've seen Panarin do that earlier. 
early on. And this four on four, really nice, well constructed play. And Point picks up some speed down the right side, stops up, leaves it for Kutrov. Kutrov sweeps his way in, and they set things up. Flip pass back to heaven here. Stamp goes. Save rebound. Another one for Point. Pocket still loose. Stamp goes across. Shoots. Scores. There it is. Nikita Kutrov gets the lightning on the board. 2 1. Yeah, we're just not going to be stopped here. I think Lindgren made a save here. I thought, oh my goodness, how did this not go in? Braden Point right there. I think Lindgren made that save right outside the crease area. But the Lightning don't stop, and that's the key. Stamp goes as quick to jump on it. There's the play. Lindgren is down and out. The goaltender is down and out. He's pushed off to one side and right out of it. Lindgren tries to play goaltender again, and Kucherov finds a way to go five hole. Ott is up there along with Brandon Hagel. Now Cerrone. Gets after the corner. Rangers dump it down. Here's a potential two-on-one. Trocek puts it across. Shot. Scores. Chris Kreider answers right back for New York. This was a set play by the Rangers and the Lightning to fair corner. And this is a flip play. DeHaan's not looking at what's coming at him. Radish is, but it's another outnumbered attack. And the execution is perfect. Trocek, who has been just on fire the entire season and is having a heck of a game again. That is as good a pass as you can make. A little bit of an aerial, but it lands right on Kreider's stick. And don't have the frantic passing. Get pucks to the net and go hard and be mean and nasty in front of Shesterkin. Well, it was Paul who was talking during that second intermission about winning the puck battles. With pace, Kudrov into the middle, drops it off. Hagel inside for point, never got the rebound. Headman and Shesterkin came way out. That's why he's back with point and Kudrov. Watch him on the right side of the screen. Kucherov will give him the drop path. Look where Hagel gets to. He's still looking to make a play. Look. Shot from Janot was blocked. Trocek. Puck is really bouncing around all over the place. And now here comes Panarin. Panarin trying to get loose. Scores. Artemi Panarin with an absolute dagger here in the third period. Up in the Rangers zone, they look like they're going to keep it in the zone. And then there's Chernak who ends up getting crossed over on the left side, which leads Hedman backing everybody up. Well, that's what he had to do is back up. And when you have that big a gap, Panarin knows exactly how to use it. See how he protects the puck. Victor did pretty much everything he could do. And then Panarin just makes a beautiful shot. Hangs on, hangs on. Vasilevsky is... Savannah Jad was headed for the net that was cut off by Fleury. Lead pass up ahead for Paul. Paul's in. Oh, he got it behind. Just oh, wow. and pulled off the line there by Fox. Wheeler. By getting the puck up quickly from his own zone. Catches the Rangers. Paul gets a good bounce. Now Paul's going to fight it right into the crease area. Oh, my goodness. How did that not go in? And then, yeah, it is Fox. Fox comes and clears it away with his glove. Nice little move. How about that save? Oh my goodness, with the stick backwards, and then that's where he gets the help from Fox, who scoops it out from off the line. Look at that stick work. Talk about never giving up on a play. You can tell that he's working with Jonathan Quick as his... Timmy Panarin with the puck. He's got a couple tonight, down low to Fox. Fox in the corner, back to Panarin. Panarin to Fox. Panarin shoots. Scores, and it is a hat trick for Artemi Panarin. He didn't really have to worry too much about Fox there. Just stay out on Panarin. Panarin's the one who had the best angle, so Chernak probably should have stayed a little more in the middle of the ice. Wait to see if Fox is going to walk out of the corner. But that shot just handcuffs. Vasilevsky. I don't think it was the flex. Off the draw out in front for Kreider and he got a shot away and Vasilevsky took one away from Chris Kreider who's already got one tonight. The star of the show Artemi Panarin with a hat trick tonight and this one is over. 5-1.
final for the New York Rangers.